What's up, Reefers? Who wants more reefing? This is Alex Wilson here, Alex Pora Corals, and this is a video blog format that I'm trying to do. If you haven't noticed as often as I can, just do some every day. Everything that, uh, that that I do daily that I that I'm doing. Let's talk about it. This I got the good. I got the bad. I got a whole bunch of the ugly over here, and I got uh, manure a uh, uh, reefing. That's right. That's where I have added chicken manure to my uh, small pile of aquariums with coral. I must be absolutely mad. But let's check out what I got here today to check out. Alright, so here's a shot of a little bit of the things that I am adding to the my aquarium show right here. I want to mention really quick. The first one is that what they call um, no pox by Red Sea, and this is uh, the carbon dosing that I'm using. So it's called technically it's called the algae management nitrate phosphate X. So great product, highly recommend it so far. Um, it's really great. Uh, it has three different levels on the dosage, a minimum, a medium, and a maximum. That's pretty useful. And so it's kind of like, I mean, your alkalinity where you see that your alkalinity is a little bit low. You dose it uh, one day for a couple days or so and it goes down. It's kind of like... The, where your alkalinity goes up and so it's kind of like that but the opposite so you know I see on there that my um, nitrate and my phosphate are a little higher so I'll, I'll add this for yeah for a couple days you know or, or three days and yeah, sure enough uh, the nitrate and phosphate starts to go right down so you know depending on on how much you want it to go down that's uh you you add that uh, you keep you keep doing it or you uh, increase the dosage so yeah it's pretty good and and so yeah same as the you know as the well I could grab this the alpha reef that I'm using you know to dose the alkalinity I like that as well and it's uh, same thing it's just a uh, it's a uh, it's not a some people are scared of it just because it also it uses a type of carbon dosing technology but it it do, it doesn't affect your nitrates or phosphates in any way, you know, the 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 alpha reef, and um, so what it does is that you know it just increases your alkalinity, but uses bacteria to help break it down into the uh, what it is is the alkalinity and then the calcium, you know, and it takes a couple of days for it. So anyway, so that's the alpha reef, and this is the the. Um, Food grade hydrogen peroxide that I use to dose, to dose, to um, not to dose, but to dip, to dip my my frags that I get in, then the new corals that I get in, I use to dip these guys right here, and so um, I don't dip the whole. To clarify though, I don't dip the whole coral in there. I just dip the frag plug. So I don't dip the whole coral, just the frag plug, just instead of breaking off the coral and resetting in a new plug, I keep the original coral and I, and I keep the original plug, and, but I dip the coral in this uh, food grade hydrogen peroxide right here and this I got off of Amazon. And so I just dip it for just about a minute, you know, uh, so I hold the actual coral just in into a little uh, Tupperware container and so far so good with that and I also added a little bit of this digestive enzymes 1000 mg so I did a video on this before but not recently so here's another look at it really quick like what's going on with this well this is what is known as your probiotics and if it's good enough for people it might be good enough for your reef aquarium I don't know but I have added this as I just did added this yesterday as well to my main display. And so for us, yeah, I mean, this is supposed to be like an inoculation to your um, probiotics, to your digestive system and track. It's supposed to be healthy. And this is in addition to just what the, the bacteria, which is what they're calling the probi probiotics. And uh, this one has a bunch of other things in it. And so 
instead of just having one strain of bacteria, which a lot of them do, this one has 10 strains and actually says 10 billion CFUs, and that's how, how many um, bacteria are actually in here. So it tells you exactly, you know, per, uh, you know exactly how much you're actually adding, and, uh, you know, per capsule there. And it also has, um, I think a prebiotic blend. I'm trying to think what that is. But yeah, it's got some other things in here, you know, that are supposed to be healthy. It has a marine digestive blend. So that's, um, that has even some um, nori in it and some, uh, oh, and, and some other things like that, you know, some allergies. And then it has a natural enzyme blend. And that's like it has some uh, agave and some other types of uh, different types of plants like that. So, you know, it can't be that uh, detrimental to reef aquarium. I've added it and had some, uh, I haven't seen any bad results from that. So, yeah, I, but I'm just, I'm not sure if I'm actually like a, as an inoculation or whether it's just, um, or it's more as like a food, but I, I've just added uh, like one capsule to my 100 gallon main display for, you know, about once a week. I don't go super crazy with it, but yeah, you know, there it is. And so let's check out the coral quarantine system today. Here it is. See if they're still alive. Yep. Everything seems to be still alive over here. Let's check out the Abe's corals right here. Got the firecracker. Oh my god, it's still alive. Can't believe it. Cracking away in there. So let's check out the Natierra de Fuego. Still alive. Still got some good colors. Key lime pie. Looking fuzzy. Yep, alright, well, I got this, um, Coraline algae in here going absolutely nuts, which is, which is good, I want to get it, it's even growing over here all on my, uh, crushed coral right here, as long as I don't stir it up too much, it goes through, uh, starts showing a really dark green right there, it gets that green algae on it like this, and then Coraline algae starts going on it like crazy, so that's good, I'm letting, uh, Letting the back glass go and try to get covered up all with coralline algae as well as everything. So, really like to get the coralline algae um, going. I think it's extremely beneficial and I consider it to be like uh, trying to get the 70% of your surface area, area of your aquarium covered up with either coralline algae or corals is the way to make sure that your corals and your coralline algae dominate, you know, over the other brown algae. And I believe that there's, uh, the corals certainly have um, natural anti-dinoflagellate and, and anti-other um, green and uh, diatom types of uh, properties. Yeah, they have like um, anti-algal properties, you know, that, that, um, doesn't let the other algaes grow on them, you know, and this is obvious with the corals Like check out my diphastria right here. There's no Diatoms, there's no brown algae. There's nothing on the coral. Why is that? Well, it's because There's I think it's chemically. There's no way that the algae can let Can latch onto it and actually grow when they're healthy. Of course when they're unhealthy that's when you see a situation where the algae will attach to the corals. And so I believe the same thing is seen with the coralline algae, see, because the coralline algae doesn't want the diatoms and the other algae to be colonizing it. So I believe it has anti-algal properties, you know, to other other algae, other, other anti-algae properties. And I believe that, um, I don't know if that extends to bacteria, but certainly algae and, um, I don't, yeah, you know, probably doesn't extend into the water or onto the other rocks or anything, but, you know, certainly on the tissue itself. But, yeah, I'm certain that that's something that some scientists can do some more testing on. I've got a bristle worm right there. There he is. Check him out. Bristle worm eating in there. All right, so that's what I figure. And so that's the thing. Oh, yeah, and the same thing is true with freshwater aquariums. Ironically, it's it's just like almost a mirror image. I can't believe it as far as um, reef aquariums and the freshwater planted aquariums. 
where they believe that the freshwater plants, they have anti-algal properties when they're healthy. When they're not healthy, they do not, or they, they certainly suffer and they start to get the browns and the dinoflagellates all over them. And so uh, it's, it's the same thing. And they'll try to get the 70% of the surface area covered up with the, with the algae and the, and the, or with the plants. And then they'll have a lot better results with where they don't have the where the plants will dominate over the smaller types of algae. So I believe the same thing is true with the reef aquariums. Anyway, so let's check out what do we got here? Oh yeah, I moved this um, the orange uh, sit or no orange uh, Montipora digitata branching digitata they call them. So there he is, huge, huge. Uh, Frag right here, almost a colony, absolutely love him, he's pretty crazy. So put him there, hopefully it doesn't fall down. It's open pretty good, nice and fuzzy. I'll have to get some shots of the blue light out because it's well, extremely orange. I don't know how it's going to come out with, with the orange filter, but there he is. Got the Crocea clam, little baby clam right there from Biota. So far so good there. There's a look at the, the new uh, fuzzy, uh, well... Just a colt, some type of colt, the uh, finger leather. So there they is there. And so she got the main display. Let's see how it's doing today. Say hi to the yellow tang. What? You want food or you want us to get out of here? That was like a charger here. Could we charge the phone? Uh, poor guy. He's saying hi. Hi, guys. All right. Let's check out the other corals in here. Shot of the main display. This gives my 100, 100 gallon. This is a cade. Five feet long. By uh, two feet deep. And it's uh, 14 inches tall. Sure wish it was 16. It would have been so much better. Just two more inches. You really just get it. Just, uh... Slightly too shallow, but other than that, it's pretty so far so good. Got my MP60 on this side, and let's check out the this side over here. Where Philly is. Yep, so there it is, guys. A quick update, and got um, got more corals coming so check back for that and for the next update and see if everything is still alive uh, let's see so try to think what else died on me mm, I guess that's it alright guys well happy reefing I'll check you on the next one bye